Okay, I thought I would show you how I uh, do a DME update on uh, the INSs on the Concord uh, from FS Labs. First, you need to find a board DME uh, station that is within range, approximately 196 uh, miles or less from uh, your current position. And uh, I have, so what I do is I tune in the bore, which is uh, 11280 on NAV2. I can see that I've uh, captured it, or I'm receiving it, uh, on the DME2 uh, distance measuring equipment here. Uh, 49 or 48 miles and counting. Uh, I go to an empty slot, now I'm currently traveling from position 2 to 3, so I place it just on 2. And then I quick, uh, well I press the select waypoint on this, and then I click 7 and 9, right click, right click 7, right click 9, to uh, imitate uh, pressing both of them simultaneously, as you would do in the real aircraft. Then uh, entering the coordinates for that war station, which is north 59, 35, 1. Enter, or insert. And then east, uh, 16, 39, 0. 16, 39, 0. Enter. And then, okay, let's see what's going on. It's probably my fuel center of gravity, so I just need to stop that for a little while. And then waypoint change to, which is the station I placed it in, and then insert. We'll first say zero, and then when it starts to uh, realign, it will say two. So the number two will win the position that you entered the war station in. And just to confirm that you are actually receiving the signal and you are uh, aligning the INSs, you can see this light here is illuminated. This one, if you used INS1 and uh, NAV1, it would be this side that would be illuminated. But currently I'm using the right hand side, NAV2, and it's illuminated because I'm uh, aligning with that whole station. Uh, you check, you can check your alignment status here by going to uh, DSRTK slash STS and uh, one is the current alignment number out of four and you can't get any better than one when you're in the air you can get zero when on the ground but in the air it's one but we're at the best alignment right now so i hope you found this useful have a nice day